Bella, listen to it. Listen to it. What? It's deliberate, that, you know, just to provoke us. I can't hear now. Well, stop chewing your toast and listen proper. That's their wireless. It's very faint. They've got it going full belt. That's for our benefit. It's faint, I tell you. Whose side are you on? What are you going on about? It's not me. What's going on, Stanley? If there's anybody going on, it's not me. Yeah, the wall is on last night loud enough to wake the dead. Ah, well, that was last night. Full belt dead against the wall. Well, like, we're in the heat of the moment. And you flatten the battery, too. That's about a quid, isn't it? Heat of the moment, that. But this is calculated. Different thing altogether. Oh, look, will you drop it? Drop it? Oh, come on, you two. Have you taken root to some of if I drop anything, it'll be on her flipping out. You've had two ceilings down between the pair of you, haven't you? That were them. They started Now, it. look, it's not worth it. There's nothing in this for us at all. Anything happens, we'll cop it, I'll tell you. You're just sticking your neck in a noose. People can't just come descending through your ceiling, you know, Stanley. Sticking their legs into your bedroom. Oh, no. First, first, Stan. Everybody's got rights, even us. If we had every right in the world, we couldn't win. Ah, oh, well, you've said a mouthful there. We never get us rights. But I'll tell you this. I'll go down fighting. Oh, Egg. Feel it. Go on, feel it. No, I know. It's still ringing wet. I can't wear that. Who wears something else? It's not my fault. Hey, you two. I want this breakfast clearing away before I come in. I'm sick and tired of coming in. I will dinner catch time. my death at home. Well, something that. else then. I've got nothing else clean. She's demented, that woman. She's mad. She is. You borrow one of mine. And what have you got clean? That red one. Oh, Red, on me. Terrific. Don't be daft. I thought you were going down to the police. Oh, don't be soft. Of course I'm not going to the police. Well, you laid down the station last night. Oh, I can handle Little Rogdon without going to the police. That's what they're there for. That's what they're paid for. She's a public nuisance. They have to sort out public nuisances. You can't hang up your washing now. Look, I've given a fair warning. Let's see how long it's going to take to say, sink in, shall we? It's all right. It's never sinking. It's got nothing to sink into. She's just a stupid old cow, that's now, all. Look, you. I have called Ilda Ogden from El Taberno, Ill and Downdale over the donkey's years. I don't think there's a single word I haven't called her. But this summer to me doesn't like it when you start calling her names. You are, oh, come oh, on, Oh, illogical Elsie. it may be, but all the same. What are we supposed to do, then? We're suffering as well, you know. Well, just drop the subject once and for all, that's all. My house, my neighbours, if they need calling, I'll call them. And turn that damn thing off, it's driving me mad. Do you know, I think they're all funny round here. Do you know, I've thought that for a long time. Clever girl. Clever, clever girl. Where's mummy? <laughs> That's it. She's doing very well, isn't she? Oh, I think she's all there. Oh, she is all there, aren't you? Every little bit. Yes, yes, yes. She sends everybody balmy. Well, of course she does. I just talk to her on, read you know, like a normal person. We seem to get on. Well, it's different for you. I mean, obviously, you couldn't carry on like an idiot all day and every day, but some of us find it a great relief now and then, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, not again. Flaming machine. <laughs> no, I thought it was, but it wasn't. It seems to have cured itself. Oh, what's wrong with it? Oh, I don't know. It's gone funny lately. It keeps gushing water all over the place. Oh, must be disconcerting. Very. It's funny, really. I mean, that machine is the latest thing in advanced technology. And this thing here is 100% product of nature. But they both got the same thing in common. They leak. <laughs> Give them half the chance, they'd be all over the floor, either of them. Well, it's yeah. not normal in a washing machine. Can't you get the man to it? Oh, I've had the man to it. It won't do it for the man. Well, it's off on the way. Hey, look. Hey, you don't mind me calling in, do you? Funny thing to say when you've been here half an hour. No, but do you? I mean, say if you do. Well, no, of course not. I know you're busy. I can see you're up to your eyes. Yeah, it's not your fault, is it? I, anytime you. Well, that's it, really. I mean, you're up to your eyes, and I've so little to occupy my time. But if I'm in the way, just tell me honestly. You're not in the way. I mean, there's nothing. Nothing that. Uh, I know what I can do for you. 
Why don't I take Tracy for a walk? I mean, you'll get on that much faster. I can take her to the park. Uh, yeah, well, I, I usually take her for a walk in the afternoons, actually, you know, as a rule. Oh, well, I just thought, you know, that's all I... Oh, uh, well, no, well, go on, why not? I'd do her good, and I can get all the st downstairs vacuum while you're out. Well, I won't take her unless you're quite no. happy. You can do us a favour while you're at it. Get us a bag of potatoes and a small loaf. Oh, well. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Here's a coat. You're going to come for a walk with your Auntie Emily? Yes, you are, aren't you? Oh, that's a nice, cosy coat. I wish I had a coat like that. Yes, I do. Uh, don't yes. keep her out too long, will you? No. Hi, hi. Morning, ladies. Hello. Hello. There we are. Oh, don't forget the loaf. Oh, we won't forget. Hi. You've had your hair done. I know I've had my hair done. I'm still paying mortgage on it. Ask me if I like it. What do you think? It looks terrific. You look a million dollars. Hey, now that would be inflation. You do. You do. Good. Glad you think it's all right. Mm. Who did it for you? Oh, a fella called Peter at that uh, place in Bessie Street, you know, Mr Snips. You did go mad, didn't you? The only time I went there, it cost me three quid for an estimate. Well, it's not every week. Mm. What's it in aid of? Well, you've got to pick yourself up, haven't you? Depends who knocked you down. <laughs> well, it's February, you know, and, uh, I mean, if you don't do anything, he'll succumb, won't you? Well, at least I would. I know just what you mean, love. Anyway, we're money well spent. So... <laughs> Well, funny woman, that, you know. She's a very good friend of mine. Aye, yeah, she would be. Have you got some more rice pudding? Oh, you're back again, are you? I'm back, right. I bet they had to get the vice squad to escort you off the train. Hey? Oh, no, I didn't have a lot of time for, you know, seeing the town. Oh, aye, you can say that again. Well, it'll take a bob or two, I'm telling you. <laughs> Come on, I'll buy you a gill on strength of it, Alf. Aye. Aye, all right, I think I will. They are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, hello, Alf. Hello. Hello, Alf. How are you? Not bad. Well, it's nice to see you back. Hey, it's nice to be back. Oh. Hey, I didn't think I'd be away all that long. Oh. I didn't know you'd been away. Where you been? You've been in London. London? Oh, I've had a belly full of that, I'll tell you. Yes, well, don't go telling us we want to listen to Al. Oh, not much to say about it, really. I will try conversing with that man. God child. bless you, sir. I'll oh, be you. Welcome back. Well, back. well come on, Al. Tell us, uh, tell us what you went for. Yeah, well, I went about a, a computer sorting system. Oh? Yeah, so you don't want to know all about it, do you? Well, I probably wouldn't understand it, would I? It'd be the same boss as the rest of us, then. <laughs> Agitator, that should be a good banker, Fred. Uh, well, did you enjoy yourself? No, not really. I mean, I never sleep when I'm away from home, you know. I never have done. <laughs> and right, boy, that should be there, too. Funny thing is that, Alf, you know, sleeping in a strange bed. I feel the same way, you know. You feel sort of unsettled, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know why it is. No. If somebody pay for me to go to London, I can tell you. See our garden. You can keep London for me, you can flush it down the Thames. Well, they've done to you in a smoke, Stanley. I could take you around London. They're not civilised down there. Tell us what's in that little parcel. Just a little something I picked up. A present. Go on, tell us. Well, if it's from London, it'll be an head. They stick heads on sticks down there, like Henry VIII did, you know. I can guess who it's for anyway. <laughs> It'll be a shrunken head. Hey, uh, <clears throat> is there anywhere you'd like to go, Stanley? Huh? Anywhere like, uh, like the further the better? Yeah, we can have a whip round. <laughs> oh, come on. Surely you can do it for less than 25 quid. Well, it's the time, you see, love. Oh, never mind the sob story, just tell us. Well, it's such a fiddling job. I mean, a new house, I could put a ceiling in quicker. I don't want a new house. I just want a little titchy hole fixing in the ceiling, that's all. That's what I mean, a titchy hole. Look, I tell you what, 20 quid and that's my last offer. Oh, go on. No, you ask anyone to do it, it'll be 20 quid and that'll be rock bottom. 20 quid? Well, I'll do both then for 30 quid. The 30 quid for the two. So that's, uh, that's, that's 15 quid each, is no, that...? No, 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 I said 30 quid for the two. I'm, I'm not sure I'm with you. You never were very good at arithmetic, were you? 30 quid for the two, 20 quid for one. 20 from 30 is 10, which you give me and keep your mouth shut. Oh, I see. oh Leonard, you do improve with age, you know that. So as far as Hilda's concerned, that's 20? As far as Hilda, nothing. As far as Rita's concerned, it's 20. You know, doing favours for you can be very bad for my health. Otherwise, I could have done it for now. Let me know. 
Right, you're the one what says drop it. You're gonna drop that and all. 20 quid. Well, that's what it's gonna be. That's what it's gonna be? Is that all you've got to say? Titchy little hole in the ceiling, 20 quid, that's the estimate. Just add it off then, fair cuff. If you hadn't gone poking through theirs... That were them, her and her flaming lodger. So if there's any 20 quids to be paid, they can pay it. You can just take that round to her. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. Me? Yes, you, you big lump. And you can tell her ladyship that either she pays it, or by heck, the war hasn't started yet. <laughs> There's too many sponges, I'll tell you. If I had the money, I'd go. Hey, how much do you need, Stan? I'd leave this country tomorrow. It's finished. It's gone right down. Do you know, I'm tired of hearing that. There's nothing the matter with the country. The only thing wrong with it is people like you in it that's saying it's, it's terrible and it's all gone down. There's nothing the matter with the country that a bit of grafting wouldn't cure it. Exactly. Grafting's no use, no use at all. No, not according to some. It gets you nowhere. There's no good grafting. They say we're all the same. So if you're grafting, you're helping the sponges, aren't you? And this is why you haven't done Anne's turn all day, is it? Look, I work on my own, and when I work, I work very hard. I've no, I've seen you. I've seen that ladder shaking underneath him. Shaking with amazement every time he goes up. I've it. got to work. I'm self-employed. I can't go on the sick, can I? Oh, Stan. Anybody can see he's not well, you know. I mean, you haven't got the strength to push that cart, have you? Oh, go on, go on. Well, you haven't pushed it the length of the street today, have you? I can't push it nowhere, can I? I'll be halfway down Florence Street now, but I can't push it because the wheel's coming off. <laughs> well, why don't you fix it? I can't fix it. The bracket's gone. What oh. kind of a bracket's that, Stan? Well, uh, hold it on, you know. Well, they usually do, don't they? But what size is it? How big well, is it? Well, it's about like that on, on the angle, you know. Oh, I'll probably fix you up with something for that. What's that going to cost me? Oh, flipping heck, you're the right one, you, aren't you? I'll give you something to make a bracket. I'll just give it you. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if that's right, you know. Well, it won't put itself right, will it? I've been looking at it. Oh, he's good at that. What he wants is all drilling in the axle and put the bracket underneath and put the watch it through, you know. I know what to do. Well, why don't you do it, then? It's knowing what to do is one thing. It's getting a tackle to do it's another, isn't it? What do you need, Stan? You only need a drill to, 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 to drill a hole, don't you? That'll cost me <laughs> 20 quid, won't it? <laughs> have you got no drill, Stan? No, I haven't got a drill. Len, lend him a drill, will you? You must have one knocking about with your yard. I've got about 12 knocking about somewhere. It comes from lending them to people, you see. Sorry, Stanley. Getting a tackle. That's the problem. All right, all right. Look, against my better judgment, I'll lend you one of mine. Oh, well, uh, Stan, I said I'd lend you one. It's only an old one, but I don't normally lend my gear to folks. Well, I don't like borrowing other people. But okay. in this case, I'm prepared to make an exception. Uh, I'll go through the back and get it, Stanley. I did my best. Sorry, Stanley. <laughs> Oh, there's a stranger then. Oh, strange, am I? Must be easy forgotten. Oh, I think it'll come back to me. Uh, like the proverbial watching. Well, I suppose you had a good time in London. Yeah, everybody supposes that. It was very dull, as a matter of fact. Well, the job was all right. That was interesting, you know. Um, I brought you a present. Oh, for me? Who else? Oh, wow. Uh, I'm not jumping the queue, Alfred. <laughs> Have you seen uh, Emily Bishop anywhere? I haven't, no. Oh, it's just that she's took Tracy out and I said to be back, you know. You're not worried, are you? She'll be all right with Emily. Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, will you give me a slice loaf for me? Yeah. No, it's just... Well, sometimes I I get the feeling that she might start thinking about Ernie and everything, or else not thinking about it, and... Oh, I don't know. I just worry that she'll leave Tracy in Parker somewhere. Is that awful of me? Oh, no, love, it's not. But you've no need to worry, honest. No, I suppose not. Anyway, I'll see you. Trav. Hey, she's not paid him but loaf. Oh, she'll be back. Mm. Can we all right now? Hmm? Oh, ah, yeah. Well, actually, there's a little speech that goes with it. Oh? You see, I was thinking while I was in London. What were you thinking? Well, I was thinking that, um, well, when two people are placed, like you and me, you know, I mean, it's very sensible when two people are placed like us, you know. I mean, it's the most natural thing in the world. Um, you see, there's a lot I want to say to you, Rini. And I, I don't want to speak out of turn. Now, you must tell me if I am. Anyway, uh, uh, open the present. Oh, I thought I'd see you 
thought it were you. I saw skulking down near Rovers. Saw you back. Ah. Suppose you had a high old time in London. Oh, I were dancing around Trafalgar Square every night. I mean, they had to board a beer or while we were there, you know. Sarcasm doesn't suit you, Alfred. No. Well, you know, if somebody goes to London, everybody assumes that they're up to no good. And you are the exception to the general rule? Yes, I am. Mm. What do you think, Rini? Oh, I'm saying nothing. Wise girl. Hey, can you have a bottle of milk? I forgot before. Yeah. You don't mind, do you, Al? No. Oh, anyway, I still say that you painted Piccadilly red. <laughs> See ya. Right. Hello, girls. Yes, love. Three ham bam cakes, please. I'll have to make them. We're not in a hurry. Oh. Uh, look, Rini, I'll, uh, I'll try and call back later. Okay. Uh, don't forget the question. All right. And to go to up next? Hey, what's in it? Oh, looks expensive. Well, did you tell her? I want my dinner. I told you to take it round. Look, if I'm going round there, I'm going round in my own flipping time. You want to exercise your authority, you know. You're supposed to stand up for your home and family. That's what husbands are for. Not to let folk go walking all over you. There's no husband in this case, is there? To come round here. Exactly. Exactly. She can't keep an husband. I say she can't keep an husband. Shut up, will you? Shut up. I won't be told to shut up in my own home by you or anybody else, Stanley oh, Ogden. Now, give it to you. What's the point? Look, if you're too flaming gutless, I'll take it round myself. Now, give me that estimate. No, I won't. Oh, won't you? Now, you give it me, else I'll wail it out of your fat hide. Shut up, woman, shut up! Don't you take that tone with me! <laughs> and you can keep out of it, Rini Bradshaw! I bet it's not like this in executive estates. Well, probably not many of them have a really carrying voice like Mrs. Ogden. Perhaps she should have had it trained. You're no better than you should be. Can't even find an husband, let alone keep one. I'm just ignore her. Deirdre was looking for you, by the way. Looking for me? Which she knows where I am. I'm out with Tracy. I think she thought you'd been a bit over long. Really? I know I shouldn't mention it, but she had asked me if I'd seen you. Oh, well, I hope she's not being worried. Not really, I'm sure. It's very odd, though. Still, I suppose mothers do get anxious. Just a natural feeling, part of the maternal thing. I shall never know. The men in white coats will be coming to take them away. Don't you feel sorry for her stand, though? Yeah. Zena Sharples once said to me, they bear witness to divine providence. <laughs> How else would they have found each other? I think she's frustrated. Oh, tell me you isn't. No, well, not like her. You can put it all down to an unsatisfactory love life. In that case, I'm just the same and so are you. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, we'll all end up crackers. <laughs> What's up with that? Oh, blinking thing, it's time we got another. Oh, more money. It'll need a fresh rental and all. It does need fixing, you know, Elsie. You know, that could be her next door. Her machine makes it go like that. She'll never be sewn at this time of day. Precisely. Is her machine? I've heard that before. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm going to count to ten and then I'll go. Oh, good heavens, Stan. You have to do that in here. Don't take it outside. The flicks won't reach. I don't know why you've got to do it at all. I've got to mend the cart, haven't I? It's broken. Yeah, well, it's not worn out with pushing, that's for sure. It's worn out with standing outside the rovers. Ha uh ha. -huh. Oh, I see. It's not the sewing machine. And what do you think you're doing? I've come to tell you you can just put that thing away. I've told you before, you can't just come walking into people's houses, you know. Out! Do you understand what I've just said? I will have no more of that thing. You carry on, Stanley. He's got a perfect right. He can do what he likes in his own home, same as I can. I have not come here to argue with you. I am just telling you. It's to do with his livelihood, that, and you can't stop him because it's laid down in law. I've never heard of a fellow washing windows with an electric drill before. It's got nothing to do with you. Now, look, you are doing this deliberately because you know it causes interference. Well, if there's any more of it, I shall report you as a public nuisance. Interfer interference? Ah, well, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Because you're interfering where you're not wanted. You're not wanted in this street, but you have to come crawling back. Now, you? look, I am telling you, I will have you done as a public nuisance. And furthermore, I shall report you to the telelicense people because I have paid for my television license and I have a right to watch that which I've paid for. 
it's interfering with a television stand. Oh, give it to you. Now, why didn't you say so before? You just tell me what programmes you want to watch and I'll do my best to keep you happy. Although, mind you, I have got a lot of holes to drill. Look, I am telling you all I am going You'd to tell you. You'd be surprised the holes I've got to drill in this house. Right, what people say about you, you start reading now. Very useful device, this, Stanley. I'm glad you got it. I'm having no to do with it. You know what you are? You are mad. Start reading bonkers mad. Oh! Mad, am I? Well, we'll see who ends up flipping mad. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Funny thing about shops, folk keep coming in. Yes, they say it's good for business. Yeah, well, never mind about all that. Now, I've got something to say to you. The present was lovely, thanks, Alf. Oh, yeah, well, that's uh, best attempt yet at being romantic. It was very successful. Oh, uh, anyway, <clears throat> what I have to say is this. Now, I can think of a lot of good reasons for you and me getting wed. Well, there is, isn't there? I mean... I don't mind you to take yourself and your insults out of my house. You can't go slanging me, Elsie Howard, or Tanner, or whatever you call yourself. You probably don't know what your name is. Can't find a fella who'll give you one what sticks. You know what's wrong with you, don't you? You're sick. And you know why you're sick? Because you're rubbish and you know it. Oh, is that right? Rubbish. Well, at least rubbish is a cut above scum. Always have and always will be. You know it and you don't like it, do you? Rubbish, am I? Oh, we'll see about blooming rubbish. Well, if they're quite finished, what I was saying was this. Now, I've been thinking. There's me, I've got that big house there. It's all paid for, and I'm there rattling around by myself, and you're here by yourself. And, I mean, we know we get on together, so, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, you see, when, when two people do get on, you know, uh, well, it's, it's likely they will get on together. So I think there's a lot to be said for it. Um, and anyway, that's, that's what I think, so I've told you now, and it's, it's up to you, isn't it? Uh, oh, but, but before you make your mind up, I'd, I'd like to put my cards on the table. I mean, I'm not a rich man, you know. But I have got a few pounds put by, like, um, I mean, apart from the house, I've got, um, well, I've got some money with the building society, and, uh, of course... Yeah? See how you like that for rubbish. We're back down our best love street tomorrow at 6.30. Stay with us here on Granada Plus for the gentle touch. Maggie's glad of the help of a woman recruit to track down a sinister attacker. That's next. <laughs>